Hi, and welcome back to Losing is Fun with Empress Evil. It's episode 9, I am Icon, and I don't know how long these guys have to live anymore. We have found Galagos as a new member of the colony, and sadly Annie is still in her cycle of trying to eat Zane, getting shot down by Zane, getting treated up by my people, and rinse and repeat. And today, well, I'm really, really confident that we're going to open the Ancient Danger today, and I don't know what's going to happen besides of that. Ask the Empress, and we're going to see what will transpire. If you like this kind of content, drop this channel a subscription, and you won't miss an episode in the future. Oh my goodness, I'm so anxious, really. I am so anxious. We're right now on a quite healthy spot. That's at least something good to say. And I'm um, very, very close to finishing the last part of the defenses here. Or, well, defenses. The trap parkour. I would much more call it like that. Okay. Well, maybe you could also call it a kill box for the Ancient Danger. Well, that would be... If I would be... A, I must be honest with myself, this is kind of a kill box. But I don't want to risk any colonists here. These Tometsukite spike traps, they, they, they look rather fancy. They have a, a nice shiny look. <laughs> so, I'm chronically out of uh, stone blocks. It's pretty brutal. Is there not enough on the hauling tab, or what's the matter? I use the middle of the night quite um, often to get an overview of things, you know. There's a lot of rhyolite lying around here. I'm out of rhyolite? No. I have plenty of rhyolite. I'm out of tometsukite. And as far as I'm seeing it here, I don't have too many orders there. Okay, so we're hauling all this. Okay, I'll let my people haul all this and then I'm going to um, see what I can do out of these materials. So, next step, subsurface conduit over here will be connected to the geothermal power if I ever get there. And yeah, then... Some power for the throne room to be. I can't even believe that it'll come to this, but... Well... Gotta prepare... For the miracles. To allow them to happen, right? All right. So, even the amount of food is quite okay. Um, Non-butchered animals are not getting uh, counted into this uh, food alert clock here. So, let's speed it up. And today's the day. I'm really excited to see what uh, kind of killing machines are hidden in there. And do I have anybody who's uh, realistically on the hauling tab? No, not at all. So I'm going to send Galagos for that and uh, Zane won't be doing that. Maria won't be doing that. No. Galagos is the person. And Zippy, well... Zippy should be crafting stones all day. Yeah, it's working out. Okay, wonderful. So useful to have um, one colonist d dedicated to hauling purposes only. I really, really like that. So, Paul, yeah, well, you, you do what you do, whatever. I'm tired of micromanaging that. I'm waiting to see this uh, done. Oh, great. 
progress. For some odd reason, I'm tr starting to believe that I might be actually beating this difficulty level successfully. I mean, I'm trying to uh, set myself a goal here, you know. A smithy. I will need a smithy for sure. Art. Will I do do will I do the art here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. But I'm going to do a steel art bench. Smithy is steel anyways, and let's mine out some more steel. There's plenty around here, and I want to use the materials available to me. This will block Zippy from uh, crafting new um, stones, but that's not, not a problem. So I'm lacking the blocks to finish this uh, serpentinite trap, so let's do a rhyolite one here instead. Well, I hope Maria won't be starving before this is done. I mean, it's a lot of work, but uh, at the same time, Maria is quite a pro here. Let's see. I think she should be fine. Alright, so tomorrow, I'd say. Major break risk on Paul, not Maria. Okay, there we go. This should be working out nicely. Okay. So, let's clean up the mess. Clean up the mess. This spot here always looks so dirty. I don't know why it annoys me the heck out of me. <laughs> Seriously. Can't get rid of this dirt stain here. I should put the stove on it. Or something like that. Maybe we're going to put the drug lab on it later. So, what about Annie? Annie's gone. Can it be? Yeah, Annie's gone. Bye-bye, Annie. God bless. I was so tired of her trying to eat Zane. Alright. It's way better to have uh, somebody like Galagos on my colony who's even able to fight back. No use denying that. So... I really want to try out... Oh dear. There's some... So... I want to see if... Yeah, I have the incendiary launcher as a main arm. I can do the recurve bow as a side arm. Ah, perfect. Yeah, it's not. Uh, let's not have her as a hunter. Okay. So, uh, how's everybody? Maria consuming her fine meal. Let's wait that. Paul, have a bite, Zane, have a bite, alright, so Galagos is pretty low on recreation, but can't force her to do that, so, everybody's well fed, let's go, alright friends, I'm always pretty anxious, to say the least. Who's my uh, constructor on that? I'm going to take Zane because he has the better uh, close range weapon. So I'm going to hold open that uh, door for him. And let's go. Um, I'm going to hold that order for a second because I want to set up my uh, guys properly. Okay. It's uh, quite important to be prepared. Okay. Because uh, there's going to be quite some nasties inside there, I think. So, let's... 
see what we have there. Um, there's a Scyther, Pikeman, Charge Rocket Launcher, and a ton of Crypt Sleep Caskets. Some Glitter World Meds, some fine, fine tables, and a wonderful large room. This is huge. Okay. So, let's uh, close the door behind Zane, and... Boom. So there's going to be either uh, this guy beating down the door and uh, being greeted by a whole bunch of crazy colonists, or... Well, he's retreating. It's the first time they're retreating. Well... Let's, uh... Forbid that. Let's forbid that. <laughs> well, I'm going to check out what'll happen. Oh, I see. What's the problem there? Probably, probably it's the it's the table. So. Well, that's quite stupid, isn't it? So, I guess they are not crossing that border because of the table. But, uh, well, whatever. It's, uh, it's okay. Let's lure that thing, that situation out here. I have quite the firepower, um, available right now to, uh, just uh, face tank that. Yeah, it's uh, really the uh, issue here. It's not even. Okay. Let's see. They're not even reacting to Zane. Uh, now they are. Uh, now they're coming. Okay. There we go. Ooh. All right, step one, Paul's uh, getting hospitalized here. So that guy is uh, shooting Zane, and run. Let's see if that'll work. Haul away that Scyther, please, good sir, and uh, we're going to see what'll happen now. Usually they run into the traps. This time they are smarter than usual. Damn. Maybe I built the path too complicated. Oh. It's, uh, it's not that horrible though. Could have been worse. But at the same time I want to get rid of that uh, fella here. And I want to open those cryptosleep caskets, but maybe before I do that, I should um, prepare some um, resting area. So what can I do here? Coagulator and a healing enhancer. What's a coagulator? Releases. How should I understand that? Total bleed factor. So that means you're... Oh. If I understand that correctly, if you haven't installed this uh, implant, you, your, your bleeding amount, uh, the, the amount of bleed that a colonist can have is reduced by 50%. It's pretty powerful. Healing enhancer. Ooh, nice. Quickening the healing speed. So... Holy, what to do? Ah, come on, let's, uh, let's screw that. These guys are such potty poopers. I prepared all this, uh, this, this horrible death maze for them, and now they're just, uh, they're just not taking it. Man. So sad. I really am. So, come out, come out. Let's play. 
Well, I'm going to send Zane in to melee attack that thing. Somebody has to take the uh, in initiative here. Paul can take some can take some shots with the bow. Okay, so I'm going to release Zippy out of that. Oh, it's uh, rather uh, bring Paul in and uh, some pain block for Zane maybe. This is uh, looking quite uh, nasty for Zane here. There we go. Wow, sticks uh, tougher than I thought. Okay, good job. So, I end up with uh, these useless traps. Let's uh, deconstruct this mess. Oh man, I'm so sad. So useless now. <laughs> Whatever. It's the first time this trick doesn't work out. I wonder what was the matter. If the uh, course was too long, usually I uh, draw them shorter and they survive the path. I don't know. The AI of Remoral is very, very a uh, weird thing. I never completely understood understood the pathing of entities in this game, and I prob probably never will. But that's okay. We fought the ancient uh, evil chamber here, or ancient danger chamber, with no bigger problems. The tech print here. Let's. Uh, Send Paul to eat that. I don't want to, uh... Oh man, it's deteriorating. I don't really want to claim that thing. Well... Let's do a, a thing here. So... I don't have his obsidian blocks or sandstone. Let's do sandstone. I want to close that uh, structure here. Um, because if this structure is closed, the items in there won't be uh, deteriorating anymore. And uh, I don't want to claim that uh, charge rocket launcher. Light on the potato plants, not cool. Or, well... Uh, I don't think that uh, the game does uh, agree with me. 10k bucks? Yeah, it's already mine. I can, can't forget about that. We might as well pick it up. So, a charge rocket launcher fires a single anti-grain shell at precise accuracy due to laser targeting. Blah. Okay. Um. It's a legendary. Uh, it's an excellent one. So it's uh, worth way too much money. I I think I want to sell it. Let's do that. Let's uh, get it out of here. It's a uh, it's an ill omen. It'll attract the wrath of the Empress. Let's get it away. Well, the uh, realist, the other uh, thing here is this is a real benefit in terms of money for the colony. It's insane how much money we can, uh, we're going to get out of that thing. So, I'm going to bring some food. Apart from that. Bring some old clothes, why not? And that. I'm aware of that, I didn't uh, add the launcher yet. So. It wasn't uh, in the colony's inventory yet, but uh, you can already order your people to grab it into the caravan. So, I'm going to keep the Glit World meds. I'm quite happy with that. So, oh gosh, I forgot about the potato plant. Okay. Let's fix that. 
So we need to cut all this. Let's uh, force these guys. Work, work. All right, we have the tech prints for that and the flash storm. Hi, but luckily it's uh, it's happening down there, so. So uh, could be worse. Terror cluster. Okay. Okay, light's gone. Um we will get attacked by a mechanoid hive and we can get Royal Fever, Power Claw, or Goodwill for that. Lancers, Pikeman, hell no. Okay, so uh the first insectoid raid. So, what's that? Uh, it's a Mega Scarab and a Megapede. What's the Megapede? A giant heavy insectoid that glides on dozens of tiny legs. Ugh. Sorry. It's thick kitine armor and sharp mandibles the size of an elephant's tusk make it an excellent siege machine. But that, that means the legs can't be tiny. They have to be kind of huge. It's even more disgusting. Due to being extremely slow, they are somewhat vulnerable to hit and run tactics. That's a good thing. So, uh, everybody's quite roughed up. I have uh, mediocre weapons, but well, that's okay. Do I have a real gun for Paul? No. Okay. So, Paul gets some food and uh, we're. I'm grabbing a drink, too. Oh, okay. But I'm not too worried. I have so many traps arranged here, I should be able to kite these things to their death. So let's uh, fetch Sippy to to arrange some some death for that scarab. All right, that's the first uh, insectoid raid, and uh, well. It's okay. I think I'm going to. Uh... Ah, well. How well is Zane? He's quite hurting. But then again, Paul is able to uh, pain block him, so. Let's do that. There we go. Thing is going to run into the trap anyway, so... Oh, not if we're going to shoot it before it hits the trap. Boom. Humans score one point. Alright. So, uh... I think this, uh... This time we're going to, uh... Get off lucky here. So, I don't need to wait for, um the barricade to cover it. Oh, that's, uh... That thing is, uh, quite resilient. But, uh, well... That kinda was, uh... on the menu. Okay. Have to kite now. So, uh... Zane's now the target. Boom. Done. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. First appearance of the insectoids. Well, bring him. That was fun. So this chain shotgun is. Uh, <laughs> if you never uh, were convinced about these weapons, I hope you were getting a glimpse of uh, the awesomeness of uh, chain shotguns. I really consider them as one of the most powerful vanilla weapons in the game. All right. Good. I didn't even trigger a trap, but I also realized that I have enough sunstone. I want to have a uh, trap here. This is uh, such a good corner to have a trap on. Okay. So, we're... Trying again with the potatoes here. There's a lot of animals hanging around. 
Lots of uh, food to uh, forage. Good stuff. And that's winter. <laughs> well, I admit that I didn't choose the most difficult biome to uh, pick for this run, but I uh, can't say that I'm running low on entertainment here. <laughs> We're, but we are actually running low on components. So, going to salvage a few ship chunks here. But, well, Zane is quite roughed up. He's going to take a rest, and it's okay. I hope it's going to be okay. So. We're going to visit Fordal Rune and give them that uh, rocket launcher. It's a little bit of a hard decision for me. I really like to keep those uh, weapons, but at the same time, if this rocket launcher would have been in the colony at the time the insectoids would have arrived, it wouldn't have been that easy, let me tell you. Hailstorm! Ooh, it's raining death for the next one or two days again. <laughs> no, don't eat my prickly pears. Come on. It's not what we're... what it was about. Um, <laughs> so, I hope I can uh, find enough uh, attractive things to uh, get that thing paid here. Oh god, that's <laughs> such a pity. Why is it so... discount? Weapons. Weapons get downscaled so horribly. But, well, I don't regret a thing. I can use this uh, way better, this way. So, what is uh, available here? Well, not the Animal Tamer, that's for sure. Components are not necessary either. More medicine would be a really good thing. Panoxicillin. Well, that would be uh, saving me for a few days at least. Neural Heat Dump Psy Trainer. That skill is not too fascinating. The Charge Rifle. But that's uh, nothing I can afford. An EMP Launcher. Count me in. That's something useful. EMP Launchers, well, I personally prefer the EMP Grenades over the Launchers. But the Launcher is so much more useful than the uh, rocket launcher because with an MP launcher you can kind of like chain stun something like a centipede that's really useful if you want to cover ground with uh, the enemies other thing you can do is you can disable um, mechanoid turrets with it there's so many useful ways um, to play around an EMP launcher awesome that's a good that's a good trade Seriously. So, next step, and I'm afraid this won't be happening this episode already, is going to be um, the opening of all these caskets. I don't know what'll happen when we open these caskets. Something, sometimes really funky things happen, and and sometimes the people even are aggressive against you. Maybe, maybe I'm going to keep those traps. Actually, now that I think about it. So uh, it might be smart to have those traps, because if anybody in here wants to escape, um, <laughs> it's a little bit mean. Usually they just want to leave the map and uh, they're happy with it. But if they have to cross these traps here, they're going to get either pinned down or they'll die. And that's, uh, well, that's another story. It's a mean old world with the Empress Evil. Um, Long story short, I'll either have the option to capture them by grabbing them out of the traps, or I'll uh, kill them and it's not going to be a loss at all. And if they are going to be hostile, which is always a, an option if I remember correctly, um, I won't be uh, in too much trouble from those guys because, uh, well, they either uh, will dig out a 
will try to dig out some spot here and then I can say hi to them with my uh, shotguns and stuff. Or they'll run through the traps and just die. Win-win. Well, let's see what the uh, storyteller has to has in store f <laughs> for me, considering that uh, idea. Alright, we're getting the machining done soon as well. Art. Do I want to do art? Art is kind of like playing with fire. Because art is creating wealth in larger amounts. Which is dangerous, but at the same time useful. So, look at that zebra getting smacked by the hail. Oh, the hail is finally over. Great. So, I want that zebra. Zippy? Come on, it's a good opportunity. I hope the uh, zebra won't be killing Zippy, though. So. Nope, Zippy wins. There we go. If animals, if herd animals get separated from their herd like that, I really like to uh, grab them. Alrighty. Welcome back home, friends. I'm so sorry that I haven't uh, tamed an animal yet, and uh, there's a there was a wish there. But uh, we're going to get there. I haven't for uh, I haven't forgotten that blank. So we're going to get there. Just can't tame anything out here. It's a problem. Okay, there's a, a wild beast cow isolated from the pack. Let's uh, grab that as well. Ooh, no. I, I won't do that. Maria is just too friggin' tired. I haven't realized that it's uh, not that late in the night yet. Good job! Zippy get, was uh, calmed down by Paul. Well, Paul's social skills are just okay, but well... He's at least the only passionate person about it uh, in this colony. Alright, so... Mm, I'll have to plan some... Uh, some hospitalization area here, I guess. How to do that? Resource-wise. I really uh, am low on a lot of things and, uh, well... I don't want to... do too much with wood. So possibly I'll, um... craft some steel beds and do some barracks. Oh yeah! I can do some prison stuff around here. Great! I even have the, uh, lepidolite. Awesome! Yeah, let's do that. So, it's a quite easy idea. Even if I'm going to throne room that one day, for the time being, it's a very cheap and effective way to get myself some nice uh, prison for um, four people minimum. Low food. That's why I brought the zebra, because we can't eat those uh, mechanoids. Alright, so uh, let's bring Maria. I hope she's uh, going to be able to finish off that wild beast, but it should be. Hey, hi Empress. Thanks for the eclipse. We're hungry. We can use some crops which not grow. Which are not growing. Come on. 2.55 cells per second. She's uh 3.1. Come on, kill it! Ugh, we have to kite now. But uh I'm pretty sure poor thing. Yeah, 1.36. Maria can uh Basically, she can't lose here. Okay, wonderful. So, why is she that slow? Hmm. Maria is sickly. I haven't really uh, realized that yet. <laughs> now I do. 
realize it, but okay. So, there's a bunch of zebras, there's a bunch of wild beasts. Mm. I'll rather stick to the forage for now. These animal herds are quite dangerous unless you have a lot of automatic weapons, which I don't have, so... Rather be careful with that. Alright friends, it's uh, already time again to find an end to this episode. Well, so far... I mean, I feel like I got really damn lucky with uh, that dodge on, on the uh, insectoid raid and the rocket launcher there, because I stripped out 8k of wealth just in time before uh, the Empress attacked, so like, uh, the raid was, uh, like here. <laughs> there, I got raided somewhere between there. It does make a difference, so, well, sometimes you get lucky. Overall, it, I am, I'm unnervingly lucky in this run, so luck will run out sometime. But Hopefully it'll wait until I have that spaceship done. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? So friends, drop me some comments down below. I always love to hear from you, as you know. And I hope you're having as much fun as I do. And next episode, we're going to hit the 10. Ha! Take that, Empress. Aiming for the 20 now. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.